A reading from the second letter of John. I was overjoyed to find some of your children walking in the truth, just as we have been commanded by the Father. But now, dear lady, I ask you, not as though I were writing you a new commandment, but one we have had from the beginning. Let us love one another. And this is love, that we walk according to His commandments. This is the commandment, just as you have heard it from the beginning. You must walk in it. Many deceivers have gone out into the world. Those who do not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. Any such person is the deceiver and the antichrist. Be on your guard, so that you do not lose what we have worked for. But may receive a full reward. Everyone who does not abide in the teaching of Christ, but goes beyond it, does not have God. Whoever abides in the teaching has both the Father and the Son. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Apostle Luke. Jesus said, "As it was in Noah's days, so will it be in the days of the Son of Man." They were eating and drinking, and marrying and being given in marriage, until the day Noah entered the ark, and the flood came and destroyed all of them. Likewise, just as it was in the days of Lot, they were eating and drinking. Buying and selling, planting and building, but on the day that Lot left Sodom, it rained fire and sulphur from heaven and destroyed all of them. It will be like that on the day that the Son of Man is revealed. On that day, anyone on the housetop who has belongings in the house must not come down to take them away, and likewise anyone in the field must not turn back. Remember Lot's wife. Those who try to make their life secure will lose it, but those who lose their life will keep it. I tell you, on that night there will be two in one bed. One will be taken and the other left. There will be two women grinding meal together. One will be taken and the other left. Then they asked him. Where, Lord? He said to them, "Where the corpse is, there the vultures will gather." The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.